In this video, we will go over a team that cleared Grave of Venom level 6 on day 3 of the server, which is first day this dungeon is available. My main goal here was to utilize heroes that can overlap in different content as building a team just for the Grave of Venom is not efficient. We want to use heroes that we use elsewhere to reduce amount of experience per hero needed. My current Vortex team uses 4 out of 5 heroes shown in this video. Voresh is used in almost all dungeons as well. This will help you progress in the game faster as you will not be wasting resources on the heroes that you will use only in a specific dungeon. If you're looking for more free to play friendly ways, there are other content creators who already did the videos on it, so make sure you check them out as well. Okay, yeah, so this placement is definitely the best one. Uh, my Everyone in the backline is getting hit by only one AoE skill, which is the first one, which we can't avoid, but we can avoid this one. And Garius is able to survive long enough to get 20 stacks quickly. And we can do it. Level 6, Grave of Venom, done, using only a single legendary hero. So let's look what I'm using here. So I'm using Fur Buff for um, attack penalty. I'm also using Rift Hourglass for extra haste. If you've been farming level 5 and you have a Goblin set, you might consider using it. But... You need this um, haste here to be able to use full buff attack down on the Harpy's AoE skill. This one, we want to reduce damage there. Um, what else you can bring instead of Shina here? Uh, instead of Shina, you can bring someone with attack down like Secret as well. It works. But then you might consider replacing Bladen with someone more useful. Uh, since I'm trying Ice Blast everywhere, I want to use them. So yeah, Fur Buff, basically rare equipment equipment with a little bit of um, epic ones, accuracy. Luckily, I had one piece, so this ensures I can ha I have a 100% chance of applying uh, attack penalty because we need to exceed 100 accuracy. Um, Garius, uh, built with... Scar up amulet. I have better artifacts that scar up amulet to keep him alive, but scar up amulet gives us this last stand kind of an ability where he gains a shield and this helps us to go over these 20 stacks quickly. Full epic equipment on him. Doesn't matter about the set. We want extra defense here. We want defense here. We want as much HP on other pieces as well. Make him as tanky as possible. And as you can see, his stats over a thousand defense. And over 25,000 HP keeps him alive long enough. Bled in here to deal a lot of damage now with 50%, uh, sorry, 31% crit rate plus 20 from the skills. He's able to give this ice crystal quite often. Manticore statue because uh, ice blast heroes are all based around battle skill damage. So that's what we're using. As I said, the bonus doesn't matter. We want epic equipment to have extra stats as they are way stronger than even the rares with this. We got damage. All we care about is surviving. Uh, Sheena, she's boosting the damage with Dampine Organ. You can use any other artifact really um, and it still will work. You can even use Eyeball on her. Um, and we use Voresh with Witches Remain, but you can put a Crown as well. We are using it mainly for the accuracy. Because uh, again, we're very close to getting this 100 accuracy, so we'll not always hit it. But you can bring food, you can bring 25% increased accuracy uh, food. And again, uh, we want to cast as, this skill as much as possible, so we're going for skill haste set. Uh, but any will do. I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as you put a little bit of epic equipment. And you should, because you've been farming level 5 before you reach level 6. Um, defense aura, we can use... From Garius, we can use for from Fur Buff. And as I said, don't forget food. <clears throat> you can bring even the cheap ones. I mean, something like accuracy alone, but they are accuracy plus defense food as well. So make sure you uh, look for those. Um, but yeah, if you pop this, uh, 
Um, as you can see, I've been using defense 10% to make sure he survives. But accuracy was enough. Um, timings, the only timing I have set here is for through buff at 11 seconds and then every 18, the post rotation is 18 seconds. So I want to uh, absorb the AOE, which is this one, and the single target as well to help him survive. My damage dealers in the back have enough HP to survive the whole area AOE, and that's what you should be aiming as well. Build a little bit more defense. We got time, we got damage. It's just all about surviving. And I've done level five with the same team, but without the epic equipment. So it's doable. And uh, also the placement here is really important. This one is probably the best. Uh, we're avoiding Harpy's uh, skill on the back line. Only those two tanks will get damaged once we kill these two wisps. So yeah, let's play this. Again, I could probably replace Shine, Shina with any any uh, hero with attack down or even extra healing, and I will still do it. Bladen is just enough damage with Voresh combined. So, you know, she's an optional. You can play around with it. You don't really need her. And yeah, level 6 gives us a chance to get double epic equipment. Um, so yeah, this is something you should be farming on day 3 to have the highest score possible. On the vortex i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as always thank you for watching stay safe bye